Hey you guys, I'm here to do a quick review video, not like a whole full review. So if you want to check out a few review, it's other, some other content creators. That's really great. That has put out great reviews for Candy and the Gang. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I wanted to come and do a quick review of what I thought about the first episode of the first, uh, show. So, um, if my camera is off or audio is off in this video, it's because I'm using a different camera for this video. But I will get back to my regular camera after this. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go down with some people that's on the show, tell you what I thought about the people on the show. If this is your first time watching my reviews, it's nothing personal. I only go by what I see on the show. Um, I ain't following none of these people live, so I ain't invested, stuff like that. Um, I might like you one week, and might not like you the next week. But I'm gonna try to give this show a try, because I am in the food, um, restaurant industry, so I, I was getting it. On both sides, I got on both sides of kind of management as far as the staff. I get both sides because I am in management, but I started off as just being a staff member. So I get it. So that's why I wanted to review this show. So it's with Candy and the OLG staff members. You remember a couple of years ago, she wanted to start a restaurant, you know, kind of with her aunt and mom recipes. So she started OLG restaurant. And it has been doing good, you know, mixed reviews with people going there. You know how black folks can be. You know, we can tear you down or build you up. So I get that part. My sister, when she went to Atlanta, she did a visit OLG and she thought the food was amazing. So it is what it is. So um, I like how, you know, we see more of Don Juan. Who have we have seen on Real Housewives of Atlanta? We seeing him more on the show. You know, Don Juan has gave me mixed feelings on Real Housewives, so I might like him one week, might not like him one week. But as far as a business person, I love me some Don Juan. I feel like he's a go getter. He, you know, he does his job. So I love that about him. Um, so this whole episode was about candy, like. Candy and Todd wants to, like, get things back in order with the, with the OLG staff and bring it back how it used to be. They want to bring some old staff back and mix them with some new staff and stuff like that. They also have a new director, operations manager. As a person that's in management, that can make or break your your staff i promise you if you don't have a relatable di um directors of operations person it's it, it can ruin your shit i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you i have been in in place restaurants being the manager and that you know how these you know the owners want their restaurant to run a certain way the doc, director of operations, they be reading too much into the operations part of the book and not understanding what goes on day to day, how you have to interact with people. They don't really get that part. So that can be very, very frustrating on the staff, on the, 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 the manager, all of that. That can be very frustrating if your directors of operation person is not really cool with your staff and your management because I'm telling you, I always say your your whole place is supposed to be a team. Regardless of what position you're in, you have to be a team. And I only say that because I have started from the bottom and worked my way up. Plus, I'm a good team player you know what i mean so i'm in management but you probably when i'm at work you probably can't tell because i would get out there with my crew and help make sure you know we getting you know customers the satisfaction 
that they want. So I get it. You know what I mean? And that's why probably I'm a good manager. I'm a relatable manager. A lot of people want to work for me because of that reason. Uh, my director, man, operations managers, I don't matter where I'm working at, I'm always getting complaints about them because they not in the 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 day to day operations. You know what I mean? They only going by what the book says, what the owner says, and they're not there for day to day operations. So when it comes to your team, they be like. How the hell do I supposed to listen to them when they don't know? They don't, a lot of times they be like, oh, you only could staff this many people. You only could do this so many people. And then you be like, you're not here every day. You don't know how this must work. Especially in COVID right now. Especially in COVID because either you're, a lot of places are understaffed. So you trying to make it work with, the people that you have, you trying to make sure your crew is getting along. Um, it's so it's so much stuff that goes on with it. But like I say, you your team, your team has to work together from the bottom to the top. Your team has to work together. If your team don't work together, it will be a problem. So with this new director's operation, it's Philip. He was brought in by Candy because he worked for another restaurant, I think Blaze, he worked for her. And so it's more of an upscale of OLG. It's more upscale. So it's a different atmosphere. You know what I mean? And so to bring him over there with this crowd, I knew it was going to be some issues because this crowd is more free will. They used to party and they used to doing what they want to do and bringing in new management. It don't matter if they was, he was a regular manager or up. Management. The way he came in, I knew it wasn't going to work. So he, they have a meeting or whatever with the staff. And from jump, I knew him and Shondarika wasn't going to get along because the way, and I can't even blame Shondarika in, at this moment. Maybe she extra, maybe she got an attitude, maybe it is what it is. A lot of times, those kind of people be knowing their job, you know what I mean? But maybe, you know, maybe she don't have good customer service. But the way he came in, I was like, they gonna bump heads. They're gonna bump heads. And to me, I felt like Don Juan shouldn't have not only went at her, he should have also, or we should have seen him also go at him. Because the same way you telling her that she has to listen and this and that, so do he, because you need your staff. If he go in there barking orders and then your whole staff walk out, then what would you do? I'm just saying. What, like, no. No, then you gotta go retrain a whole new crew because all because he didn't know how to come at them. He didn't know how to get introduced to them because he's so... Oh my God, Philip is a lot. I would have walked out too. I would have... Then when he... You, you... You wait like two minutes before the restaurant is about to open and you show you hard by sending her home. If I was Candy, I would have like really said something to him. You don't, no, no. I understand you saying you want her to go home for whatever reason, only because she was upstairs talking to somebody else about it that asked her a question or whatever, but whatever. Um, I think you were just trying to show her who was boss, so that's why you sent her home. And I thought that was real unprofessional of you, the way you sent her home. Like I said, I am in management, so but like I said, I know how to deal. I really know how to deal with my crew where I don't want everybody to walk out because of the way I talk to people. And I always know how to talk to my crew where I can get my point across without being the big, big boss no, that ain't how you get your crew to work for you. That's how you get them to come to work, do their job, and that's it. No. My crew, they go over and beyond for me. They would come to work for me on their days off. They would stay extra. They would come early, that type of stuff, because I'm so cool with them. I'm so open. We, You know, I, I don't play this big boss role. I, I'm with them. Too from the I mean sometimes I'm there from open to close 
and I'm there and I'm working and I'm with them and I'm getting their gripes and all of that kind of stuff. So I get it. And the sad part is because I learned from a good manager and I learned from a good director, um, directors of operations manager. I learned by good women that taught me how to work from the bottom up and how to have good customer service and how to do my job and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't understand. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't understand, Philip. Uh, we get Dominique. She's a bartender. Dominique is extra, especially if she drinks. Dominique don't have a little fling with, um, what's his name? That's it. Um, I'm getting on. Um, Dominique is going to have a fling. What is that boy's name? I don't know. The manager dude. I think it's Brandon. But, yeah, Brandon. She's going to have a fling with Brandon, I believe, or had a fling. Or they got chemistry going on. I don't think that, like, they're going to be this big old item type stuff. <laughs> Um, I do think she was getting turned lit, lit, lit at that little reunion thing, but I'm like, that's what I thought she was supposed to do as a reunion party, but then you gotta still think about, like, girls at a job, you should know your limits, I don't know, but I didn't have a problem with her, I, I didn't see her not doing her job, um, you got, of course, Mama Joy's Aunt Nora, Aunt Bertha, I'm a, yeah. I, yeah, them candy aunties. <laughs> um, we got Torin. He's a a debt manager. He's gonna put. He used to work for Candy. Then Candy um needed an event manager to put her her event together for this reunion she wanted to have. And he used to do her Friday nights event, so she thought it was a good idea to bring him back. Then she asked him to come back to work for her. He gonna come back to work for her. Yeah, you know, cameras up. Heck, yeah, I'll come back to work for you, too. Um, then it was, who else? Brian, he's the ex-bartender. She's going to bring him back as well. So we're going to see how that go. He sell egg rolls, and he got a whole new business. So I'm like, is he going to promote his business while he's supposed to be working for you? Because wouldn't that be a conflict? <laughs> I don't know. Um, then you had like other people that that there, but we really didn't get introduced to them, like her cousin Melvin. Um, who else that we didn't get introduced to? I think Patrick we didn't really get introduced to. Oh, Richard, we got introduced to him. He's another host that worked for Blaze, and she wanted to bring him over to OLG and see how he can help with um, hosting with um, Chandrika. Chandra so we're going to see how that go. She also had to sit down with her aunt, her aunt and her mom to see how they thought the restaurant was going. They don't like nobody at the restaurant. Um, and like I, can, I, like I said, I understand where Candy is coming from because these people have been loyal to her since day one or something. So you don't want to rock the boat with them, but you just want them to do their job. And I think it's a way to get your directors of operation, to get them to do their job, and still them be loyal to you without him trying to play this big badass boss and try to show them who's boss, like, no, no. Um, they had the reunion, like I said, the little party dinner thing, homegirl got drunk. I don't too much care for Todd either. Todd rubs me the wrong way, and like I said, maybe because Todd is seeing this as a business, and I'm more of customer service and making sure customers is happy and making sure money is going. So I'm that type of person, so the way Todd is, is just looking at it, dollar signs and stuff like that, I'd be like, this is why y'all businesses be running in the ground instead of flourishing because that's what y'all looking at instead of saying hey we want a restaurant to make our customers happy to feed the soul that type of stuff that's not what you're doing you're just looking at dollars and cents um what else happened oh and when them lights went off in the restaurant <laughs> see that's why i said i didn't like todd todd was like was it todd or i think it was todd was like 
oh, if the, you know, we will have to get all these permits to get a generator. Oh, we can let it be without light for two hours. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't care about your customer. You do not care about your customers, so that's that rubs me the wrong way when it comes to people like that. But that's all that really happened on Candy in the Game. I was interested because, like I said, I'm in the food industry as my career, and I love it, and I love customer service. I love what I do. Um, I love motivating my team for them to be better people into the restaurant and making them succeed and promote them and stuff like that, so I get it. Anyway. I have to go so I can get to eat and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to promote this shirt because it is Support Tuesday. And I wanted to support this comedian. Um, he's not only fan, but he's really, really, really funny. And his name is uh, Roy Rice. He go by Screw Up. <laughs> I almost got like so shy. Try. Screw Boy uh, Roy. And he like really really dope he got this really dope shirt um let me pull up his instagram so i can make sure that i send it and i will put it in the descriptions for y'all to it's a uh, screw at screw royal instagram and he got this shirt called screw the rules and i love this slogan of his shirt and it got you see how i got the screws up in there so make sure you guys go and support screw roy he's so so funny he has a show on amazon he has a couple clips here on youtube but his show on amazon called called the police it's really really funny so go and support him like you know like if y'all love y'all some kevin hart and all them d ray davis and stuff like that he is just as funny he had performed with some of the great great comedians so go support him screw roy on instagram and get his merchandise cost through the rules. I support him, and it's all about support. It's Support Tuesday, so you know I'm always going to try to support someone. Um, and watch Candy in the Game, and I'll see y'all in the next video.